Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice radical square root problem, which is the square root of 8 times square root of 8 times square root of 8 raised to power 8. How do we solve this problem? So you are going to solve by applying two methods. Let's start with method 1. Let's start with method 1 from here. So we have the square root of 8 multiplying by square root of 8, multiplying by square root of 8, raised to power 8. So the first thing to do here, let's eliminate this square root sign here. Let's eliminate square root, this square root sign here by applying this property that square root of a, this can be expressed as a raised to power half. So this implies that we can express this as 8 square root of 8 times square root of 8 here raised to the power half times 8. So this implies that we can simplify from here. So 8 divided by 2 here, this is 4. So this implies that we have 8 square root of 8 multiplied by square root of 8 everything here raised to power 4 now the next step from here we can express 8 we can express 8 as 2 to power 3 now let's substitute a so this is the same thing as 2 to power 3 times square root of 2 to power 3 times square root of 2 to the power 3 raised to the power 4. The next step is that we have 2 to the power 3 from here times the square root of, now this is 2 to the power 3 from here, times we can express the square root of 2 to the power 3 from here as square root of 2 to the power 2 times 2 to power 1, close the bracket here, raised to power 4. So from here, applying the exponent property, that's a to power n times a to power m, this can be expressed as a to power n plus m. Now let's apply this exponent property, so that now from here, we have 2 to power 3 times square root of 2 to the power 3 times we have the square root of now this is the square root of 2 to the power 2 times square root of 2 everything here raised to the power 4 so this implies that here we have 2 to the power 3 times we have the square root of 2 to the power 3 times square root of 2 to the power 2 here we simplify here so we have 2 times square root of 2. Everything here raised to the power 4. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power 3 times. Now, we can eliminate, eliminate this square root sign here by multiplying by 2 to the power 3 raised to the power half. Then times we have 2 here. This is 2 raised to the power 1. So this is 2 raised to the power 1 raised to the power half. Then times we have square root of 2 here. So we have 2 raised to power 1 raised to power half. Then raised to power half. Close the bracket here. Raised to power 4. So from here we have 2 to power 3 times. Now this is 2 to power 3 over 2. Then times. Now this is 2 to power half, we have 2 to the power half, then times 2 raised to the power half times the half, this is 1 over 4. Close the brackets here, raised to the power 4. So 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 3 over 2, this is actually in the form of a to the power n times a to the power m, which we can express as a to the power n plus m. So let's apply this property from here. Now, applying this exponent property, we have that here. 
This is two to the power three. This is two to the power three plus three over two plus a half plus one over four. Close the brackets here, raised to the power four. So this implies that from here we have two to the power. Now let's get the LCM from here. Three is our whole number, so this is our one. The LCM is four. So we have 4 divided by 1, this is 4 times 3, this is 12, plus 4 divided by 2, this is 2 times 3, which is equal to 6, then plus 4 divided by 2, 2 times 1, this is 2, plus 4 divided by 4, 1, 1 times 1 is 1, close the bracket, this to power 4. So this implies that here we have 2 to power 12 plus 6, this is 18, 18 plus 2, this is 20, plus 1, this is 21, over 4, this to power 4. So this implies here, 4 and 4 simplifies, so that now we have 2, this to power 21. We have 2, let's apply method 2, let's apply method 2 to solve this square root math problem. So we have the square root of 8 multiplied by square root of 8 multiplied by square root of 8 raised to the power 8. Now we can express the square root of 8 square root of 8 square root of 8 here as here we have the square root of 8 times now we, we have square root of 8 we have two square root signs here so you have the square root square root of 8 times square root square root square root of 8 raised to power 8 and you find that square root of a this is the same thing as a to power half and you find that square root square root of a this is the same thing as a raised to power half raised to power half which is equal to a raised to power 1 over 4 and we have that square root square root square root of a this is the same thing as a raised to power half raised to power half raised to power half which is equal to a raised to power a half times a half times a half this is 1 over 8 so let's apply this property from here so that now we have here 8 raised to the power half multiplied by 8 raised to the power half times half which is 1 over 4 then times 8 raised to the power half raised to the power half raised to the power half this raised to the power 8 now, the next step is that we have 8 raised to the power half times 8 raised to the power 1 over 4, then times 8 raised to the power 1 over 8 raised to the power 8. Now, this implies that from here, we can express 8 as 2 to the power 3. So, here we have 2 to the power 3 raised to power half times 2 to power 3 raised to power 1 over 4 times 2 to power 3 raised to power 1 over 8 everything here raised to power 8 the next step is that from here we have 2 to power now this is 3 times a half which is 3 over 2 times 2 to the power 3, 3 times 1 over 4, this is 3 over 4, then times 2 raised to the power 3 times 1 over 8, this is 3 over 8, raised to the power 8. Now, 2 to the power 3 over 2 times 2 to the power 3 over 4 times 2 to the power 3 over 8, this is in the form of a to the power n times a to the power m, which we can express as a to the power n plus m. 
applying this exponent property from here so this implies that we have 2 to the power 3 over 2 plus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 8 everything here raised to power 8 so now from here we have 2 to power now we can get the lcm from here of 2 4 and 8 so the lcm is equal to 8 8 divided by 2 this is equal to 4 4 times 3 this is equal to 12 then plus 8 divided by 4 this is 2 2 times 3 this is equal to 6 then plus 8 divided by 8 this is 1 times 3 this is equal to 3 everything here this to power 8 so the next step from here we have 2 to power 12 plus 6 this is 18 18 plus 3 this is 21 over 8 this to power 8 so 8 and 8 here simplifies so that now we have the solution as 2 to the power 21 so this is the solution to this square root math problem by applying method 2 so kindly of follow the steps like this video and subscribe kindly like and subscribe see you in the next video